Good day everyone, today we're gonna show you a little bit more of our equipment for home distillation and today we talk about our liquid management and vapor management units. So we have one and a half, two inch and three inch devices and first of all let's look in our one and a half inch. As you can see we can make any type you want so we uh, this these uh, devices are really small so you, uh, we, over here we have a uh, six millimeter tube so you can install our roller valve by this roller valve you can regulate needed amount of uh, liquid which you need to take off for example if you have if you're taking heads you can regulate this amount to one dro drop a second or three drops a second by scrolling this roller yeah very simple connection just using silicon hose with any diameter of uh, four or five millimeter also as you can see we can bend this tube we can make it six millimeter uh, eight millimeter and ten millimeter also we can install a thermoport so this is a nipple connection over here we put gasket we, you can put three types of gasket like four millimeter six millimeter and uh, just end cap to seal this connection and don't uh, use thermometer for example this is a uh, usual uh, tp 101 th thermometer over here you put a uh, gasket with the uh, needed uh, diameter you just seal it and screw it and you are able to take your measurements also we can make it two inch as you can see so you can take your heads you can take your tails or even hearts if you're a distiller like a column over here we can weld uh, one quarter inch thread or two inch thread for example you can install this uh, needle valve by you only need to detach this connection but this is for our uh, custom devices. Yep, simply install this needle valve and take your heads or anything you need. We make like uh, something premium. This is our type of units, which made based on a glass, so like side glass adapter with the liquid management. So as you can see, we have a plate which collects needed amount of uh, liquid and you simply take it off by regulating roller valve or needle valve if you install one so this construction is very simple and really nice and you are able to look over everything in the process and also uh, this is clamp connection so you can put anywhere you like under the deflagmator or under the like uh, column where you have your packing yep and uh, also we are able to make uh, any thermoports for example this one has a usual port where you can install your uh, thermo thermometer and take your measurements this one a little bit expensive and harder to make but over here you can uh, measure the direct uh, temperature which is in your column so you take measurement of your vapor and these devices are one one and a half and two inch also we have a absolutely same system in a three inch just uh, we don't have it right now show you in a moment and this is like a three inch liquid management unit as you can see there's just the bigger one device and uh, this one is uh, without glass as we can see it just needs to be installed and absolutely the same system we have three inch clamp thermoport and glass stage between those flanges, flanges. yeah and you're also able to install any uh, roller valve, needle valve, depends on the connection over here and we can make a custom one for you, there's no problem just need to wait a little bit more because this is like special work and we do it uh, directly for you so this is, uh, there was a 
liquid management units. Also, we make a vapor management. Yeah, for example, this one with a side glass as well. Over here, we have ball valve of one and a half inch, and you are able to regulate the needed amount of vapor to your condenser. Over here, we need to put a reducer, and that's pretty much it. Very, very simple connection, and you are able to see what's going on in your column by looking to this side glass. Uh, also, we can make it uh, without the side glass, just on your a request there's no problem and of course it will be cheaper and uh, yep and also we have uh, like a new uh, unit which has uh, liquid management and vapor management as well we this one comes in a new steel which we produce uh, called Steelman X and this is a unit uh, where you can have Vapor management and liquid management. This one is uh, pretty expensive, but it works really, really well. So as you can see in the top, you have liquid liquid management unit. Yeah, 10 millimeter pipe. Over here we have a needle valve for direct and current current adjusting of needed liquid. Over here we have a two inch connection for the uh, condenser so also you're able to regulate needed amount of vapor so for example you need to take your heads off in the beginning by using this needle valve and the next one you just close it and open the bowl valve for uh, your hearts for example you're making some green uh, whiskey or something and you want to make it on a copper plate for example yeah you can use this uh, easy in in operation well well for vapor management yep and uh, the steel which comes in this kit is called Stilmonix for example over here we have two of them uh, but we're gonna tell you about this steel uh, in another video which we are gonna make for English YouTube channel for example we have search breaker with a side glass diopter which installs to this condenser 2 inch yep this condenser is a special one so for example you have we have a one and a half inch connectors over here we have a coil and a shotgun condenser so this is a highly highly productive condenser which able to work with any uh, type of, uh, of work, for example, if you making the pot still, this work uh, up to five kilowatt, for example, or you just want to take your hearts by vapor management, no problem to make it with a two or three kilowatt of power. But this is gonna be in all our next videos. Yep, this pretty much it. And if you wanna ask anything about our equipment feel free to write a comment or write now a gmail email whatever you want thank you for watching and have a nice day happy distilling